Welcome to Claimant on Call. The markets may be closed, but I am always on call for you. The markets closed in the green today on the sixth anniversary of the bull market. Want to know how we've done since the frightening lows of March of 2009? Well, the Dow has rallied a massive 173 percent. But outpacing even that, the S&P 500 has jumped more than 206% since the start of the bull run. Breaking news in the last hour, the Coast Guard is reporting two ships have collided in the Houston Ship Channel due to foggy conditions. The crash has left a hazardous and highly polluting chemical spilling into the Houston Channel, which has been closed until further notice. Aluminum giant Alcoa taking a hit today as the company announced it'll buy titanium supplier RTI in a $1.5 billion deal. This comes as Alcoa increases its investments in manufacturing products for the aerospace and automotive industries. But shares of Alcoa did not respond well, falling more than 5% today. But RTI? Well, those shares jumped some 40% on the news. Great day for RTI. And Apple grabs the headlines from an exclusive deal with HBO Now to a brand new health kit to a $10,000 watch. Tim Cook unveiling several new items and plans from Apple to a huge crowd in California. The biggest of all, the Apple iWatch. But that part of the event failed to give the stock the spark many were hoping for. After an initial move higher, the tech giant closed relatively flat. Here's what you need to watch for tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern. We're getting both wholesale trade numbers for January, as well as the JOLTS number. That's the Job Openings and Labor Turnover Report. Be sure to check out all of today's interviews on foxbusiness.com slash on call and count down to the closing bell. We start every weekday, 3 p.m. Eastern. We're watching your money. You need us to do that, but we'd love to have you along for the ride. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.